part three. So what we can start to analyze is that ex the ex expression of this existence is, a, is quite, well, it, it may be essentially a replica of something within its divine nature. So if you can take, for example, source, and you can take aspects of that source, and when I'm referring to source, I'm referring to an aspect of... If what's very important to, to see and to at least become aware of is that life is... An, this, this reality which we're experiencing is an imagination. It is essentially an imagination. We are bringing this reality to our attention. Almost like a TV channel is presented on a TV. Without the TV, you cannot program, you cannot receive that channel. So the physical body, the mind, is essentially the TV. We are a TV and we are intercepting this channel, this reality which we're, we're perceiving and we're taking so seriously is only one channel. It's only one channel. And when I'm referring to this infinite source or this infinite light, what we're referring to is we're referring to a different channel. So if you can essentially, and this is stepping outside the box even a little bit more now, for something that's true to its nature, if you allow that existence to experience its its true self, its true path, you can ultimately align with the divine.